हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्रेट एकेडमी लेट्स ट्राई टू राइट अनदर प्रोग्राम बेस्ड अपॉन ऑपरेटर सिंपल अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर सर सर वी आर इंटरेस्टिंग लेट अस सपोज वी आर इंटरेस्टिंग इन कैलकुलेटिंग द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट सर इफ वी वांटेड टू राइट अ प्रोग्राम फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट व्हाट वी नीड सर वी नीड वी नीड द फार्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट सर द फार्मूला इज पी आर टी डिवाइडेड बाय 100 व्हाट इज पी sir the principal amount what is our rate of interest per year and what is t number of years that means if i am interested in writing a program that will calculate if i am interested in writing a program that will calculate the simple interest then what what should be the input for this program sir sir if if this program is going to give me simple interest how it gives me sir it will display using the function printf okay using the function printf but for calculation of simple interest okay our program will do the calculation but but what should be the input sir three inputs must be there the principal amount the rate of interest and the time in years rate of interest annually principal amount in rupees then only then only our program will provide the simple interest so so if i ask you calculate the simple interest sir sir please give me p r and t value then only i am supposed or i can calculate the simple interest okay sir 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 that means that means user will provide these three inputs sir how we are going to fetch them using scan f okay sir sir what should be the data type what should be the data type although 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 it can be it can be it can be sir sir this can be float yes of course this can be float sir this can be float of course this can be float try to understand this sir can this be float of course this can be float that means sir sir the user will provide three input sir we need to store them somewhere we need to store them somewhere where where the values are stored inside a program sir we need variable that means we need one variable for principal amount we need one variable for rate of interest one variable for time and and sir then then we need to apply this formula p r t by 100 that means this this whole will be evaluated and store inside another variable and then whatever value whatever is the value of si we will print it using s using printf so let me write simple program sir hash include stdio dot h void main sir first of all we need first of all we need variables okay let us suppose p r t simple interest okay what is the data type for all of them sir the data type of all of them is float okay sir next what we are supposed to write sir we need to display a message to the user regarding what he or she is supposed to do see programmer and user are two different entities let us suppose i wrote a program but you are going to use it that means that means i am the programmer and you are the user so so my program must be user friendly sir what does that mean if you are going to use my program then it must tell you what to do the program must be interactive okay sir 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 interactive means uh, it will tell you what to do okay sir enter the amount principal amount rate of interest
एंड टाइम दिस इज अ सिंपल मैसेज This is a simple message that will be printed as it is. Whatever you write in double quotes, it will be printed as it is. Okay, sir. Then, by reading this message, the user of your program gets to know that he or she must enter three values. Okay, sir, sir. In which format we wanted to read amount percentage? Hai. In which format we wanted to read rate of interest, sir? Percentage hai. again percentage, hai. sir. What we want the first value to get stored inside the variable amount. That's why we need to provide address of variable. See from the very first line, from this line, four variables will be created. Sorry, it's not amount. The variable we used is p, sir. First is p, then we have r. Then we have T and then we have SI. Now, if this is the monitor screen, the very first thing user is getting is something like this. Enter the amount rate of interest and time and the cursor is here. Let us suppose user enter 10,000, sir, and user press enter. Cursor is here. Where we want to store this value? We want this value to get stored in P. So what we need to provide to scanf address of this variable P. That means we are saying store, collect the value coming from the keyboard in, in floating point format and store that inside or inside variable P or go at the address of P and store it. That means, sir, what happens with this? 10,000 will store here. Similarly, where I wanted to store the rate of interest, sir, inside variable R and, okay, that means, that means, sir, user is going to enter three values, let us suppose, that means second value go inside R, third value go inside, done, sir, perfectly okay. Now, now we have P, R and T, sir, how can, how can we, how can we calculate the simple interest? How can we calculate the simple interest? What is the variable name? Simple interest, sir. Sir, in mathematics, in mathematics, we used to write something like this, that simple interest is nothing but PRT divided by 100. But if you write this in programming language, compiler will going to kill you. Compiler will kill you. Compiler will definitely kill you. Oi, this is not mathematics. This is not human language. This is not human language, sir. This is programming language. In in real world, in real world, if if we don't apply any operator, if we don't apply any operator between variable in mathematics, it is considered as multiplication. But but but. Who is going to read this instruction? Sir, computer. Will computer know this? That, that, that. If nothing is provided between variable, it is a multiplication. No, that is why if you write something like this, this will lead to an error. So, don't ever do this kind of mistake. Okay, sir. Sir, then what we are supposed to do? P into R into T divide by 100 done sir perfectly okay that means sir cal after calculation whatever be the simple interest get stored inside the simple interest if i am not wrong 10000 into 2 into 6 divide by 100 it is nothing but 600 now sir simple interest is calculated by our program and it is it is it is residing inside variable simple interest now we are interested to print it Sir, what should I do? What should I do? Use a printf. Okay. Printf. The simple interest is. The simple interest is. Sir, what type of variable we have simple interest? Float. Percentage F. And. Simple interest 
डन सर सॉरी डन सर दैट अ वेरी सिंपल प्रोग्राम वी नीड टू वी नीड टू नो हाउ प्रोग्राम वर्क बिकॉज एट लास्ट यू नीड टू राइट प्रोग्राम एट लास्ट यू नीड टू राइट प्रोग्राम सो आई नो दैट दिस प्रोग्राम इज अ वेरी सिंपल प्रोग्राम बट फॉर बिगिनर्स दे विल गेट एन आइडिया इन साइट अबाउट हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम हाउ टू टेक इनपुट हाउ टू प्रिंट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इट सो अगेन वट अबाउट दिस सर दिस इज डिक्लरेशन दिस इज डिक्लरेशन सर वट अबाउट दिस टेकिंग इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर वट अबाउट दिस सर कैलकुलेशन पार्ट और यू कैन से लॉजिक ओके एंड वट अबाउट दिस सर दिस इज द आउटपुट सी द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट each and every kind of statement has its own importance so i hope you get an idea about how to write programs to implement something we have a formula we have implemented it and make a generalized program this program this program is going to calculate the simple interest even if you give prt different yes that is the generalized approach so so i hope you must get an idea so that's all bye bye take care